Good evening. Today, basically, we are taking a complex with epsilon NDFA to DFA. This is the diagram, zero state, it's a star state, and it goes to state number 10. There are several epsilon transitions are there, and there are another state 11 and state number 12. So we have to simplify to with epsilon DFA to DFA. So what we should see first. Uh, if we see there is only, let's say, any finite state or any DFA or NDFA, there can only one and only start state. If any state is unreachable from anything, then we should immediately disconnect it. Same is for state number 12. You cannot reach 12, so you can always eliminate these two states. We will not take, consider state number 11 and 12 in our thing. All our states are reachable from the start state. So from the start state, if everything is reachable, we will consider this. Then what's the first step we should do? We should take the, this is the NDF, definitely because there are several epsilon transition. So we should take the first the epsilon closer of the start state. This is the epsilon zero. So epsilon closer of the zero state, definitely zero. Because the epsilon closer one, this one should be there. Then because this one is there, two is there because it's epsilon two. And because one, four is there. And because I have how the 7 is come, because from 1 to 7. So you cannot reach any other state other than 0, 1, 2, 4, 7 uh, through epsilon closer. So we give a new state, this the A, and we can make it a start state. Why I make it a start state? Because 0 is there. Okay, now we go for A, comma A. How to calculate A, comma A? So we have to give A to all the subsequent state heat here. We can immediately say, if I uh, take the 0, we can go to A. So we can go to 3. So this is 3 is coming. Because 3 is coming, 6 is coming. Okay. Because A, A is here, the 6 is coming. Because 6 is coming, the 7 is coming. 7 is there. Then 6, you can go back to 1. So now we reach 1 here. Because 1 is rich here, 1, 2 is rich here. And because 1 is 2, like 1 is there, 4 is there. And, and because the 7 is originally there in your this, the 2A, e, you can go to 8. And definitely this is not the same state because 8 is there, others are also 3 is not there. So we give this state as a B. And now we can go for A, comma B. You can A comma B, you can see it here, like 4, 5. So you definitely, uh, 5 should be there. Because your originally 4 and 5 is there. 5 because 6 is there. Because 6 is there, A, 1 is there. Then 2 is there. And because 4 is there. So you can see it, this is a new state. That is a C. In that way, you can always calculate now, you can, this is a state B. And you try with A and B, and you get it, the B and D. In this way, if you go for 5 state, we can receive, and we can go for D, comma B, we get the state 10. And because state 10 is in the final state, so we make the E is the final state. And this is the diagram, A, and this is the final state. And you can check it that with only... Your alphabet is A comma B, and with A comma B, and every state, there's a valid transaction with A and B, and E is the final state, and this is your uh, final, uh, this is your NDFA version. This is your DFA version of this diagram. I just repeat, what is we have done, uh, it in fact, why is the epsilon NDFA? Because this is very easy to catch any regular expression. We know regular set equivalent to regular expression. Regular expression like A star plus B star. A star is split closer. Plus is either or. A B is a concatenate. B it may be single occurrence, zero occurrence, or more occurrence. It is same as with epsilon NDFA. It is same as without epsilon NDFA. It is same as DFA. It is same as type three regular grammar. But the first step we do we say that from any state which is not connected, we cannot reach, we should omit these states like 11 and 12, and then we go for epsilon closer 
for the start state. Then if you have found a new state, you give the, the new name A. In this way, we have calculated there are only five possible states A, B, C, D, E. Thank you for being.